a group shoot here. Yeah. But this will be full body. I'm seeing the exposure right now. Sierra is a little bit too bright. This uh, lens is really wide aperture, wide open 1.2. So the camera is actually topping out one four thousandth of a second. So if you look at the ISO, and I'm shooting at 160 ISO, you can actually do a pull 80. So hold down the ISO button. Oh, I also to pull 80. And that should at least help with the shutter speed because I'm topping out at 1 4,000. So let me take the shot again. Yes, yeah, same pose, good. One, two, and three. And shutter speed went down to 1 1,000 of a second. And you don't lose that much uh, dynamic range. Okay, so we'll go. We'll face towards the towards the wind. Okay, so we'll use the sun as a backlight for your hair. physical features about this lens and I think this is a very good environmental portrait lens 35 millimeter full frame we're in forest here I did not know Guam has forests uh, usually jungles but really nice forest a lot of trees and this lens is being shot wide open all the time it is not that heavy 332 grams and the filter thread is just 52, filter thread. Um, so what I, what I should have done is put an ND filter to cut off some of the light, but since it's not too bright here in the forest, um, I'm still at ISO 160, getting one one thousandths, one two thousandths of a second. And the focus ring feels very, very smooth. And the throw is not too long. And I did have all three versions of this lens. I did have the first, uh, version 1 with the Leica M8.2. I did have the version 2, but this, the version 3, is much smaller, much lighter. And it doesn't come with the lens hood when you purchase it, but uh, some say more vignetting, but actually I think the version 3 uh, is much sharper than the first and second. Okay, we'll continue to shoot some more. Some internal features is it has 12 diaphragm blades. I do remember version two also having 12 diaphragm blades. Uh, it just helps with when you stop down the lens, maybe f1.8, 1. 1. Uh, f2, the bokeh is still very smooth. It has nine elements in seven groups. And I believe it has two dispersion elements to help with the CA, chromatic aberrations. And one is a high refractive, uh, high index refractive glass. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but it allows for like the most light to enter the lens. Uh, so Sierra was looking over uh, the photos right now. And we do have one more outfit that she can change into. And it's more of um, kind of like a beach outfit uh, near the water down there. Shooting for about 15 minutes, actually more I think, maybe 20 minutes. 
probably 20. But maybe actually shooting time 15 or 20 minutes because the of the rain. rain. Yeah, so we're stopping. But hopefully, crossing fingers, the cloud has moved. And this is a really nice background, matches Sierra's top. And I just mentioned our, you know, our model today to help me test out the Voigtlander 35mm 1.2 version 3 lens. Uh, would you be able to introduce yourself to oh, our yes. viewers? Hi, I'm Sierra so Nicholas. Um, my Instagram is sierra.sn. Mm -hmm. This is my second time Correct, yes. shooting with you guys. Yes. The last time was November of last year, 2021, yes. with the Nikon ZFC, which kind of looks like this camera, <laughs> uh, silver. The old, vintage old look. The vintage look, yeah. <laughs> But actually, I think this is like more vintage than the Nikon because this camera came out 2009. Uh, do the math, 13 years old, around. But this has a nice Kodak CCD sensor, and I think with the colors here and your wardrobe, oh, yeah. and we still have one more wardrobe, by yes. the way, it's going to be really nice. And paired with this Voigtlander lens, wide open 1.2 environmental portraits, it should be really good. Uh, so yes, yeah, one more outfit. Uh, but how do you? It's hard to ask you how do you like the photo so far because the screen is so bad on this camera. <laughs> but if Actually, you, I mean, the colors look amazing on this. Mm -hmm. Really hard to tell yeah. with the screen, but but I can just like cannot looking tell. At it, yeah, yeah, I can't wait to go home and edit the photos, and I can tell already. We have some really good shots. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I like these. <laughs> so rain or shine, we're still gonna shoot. We're gonna yes. finish this shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Even in the rain. <laughs> yes, and I have shot in the rain before. Uh, speaking about the rain, mm -hmm. I'm not too sure if this is weather zone. I don't oh. think so. But light rain, right? I can always wipe it down. I think it'll be okay. Um, the best time to test is right now. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep on shooting. Expression. This is inside the Leica M9P. It is raining really hard right now, but if you find a blockage, it's not that bad. This has close focusing, uh, gosh, goes down to like 0.5. I don't know if you can see it here. 0.5 meters, which is like one foot, six inches. Uh, but for the range, range finder, you can only go down to 0.7. So that's like two feet, four inches around there. So I'm gonna see how close I can get to um, Sierra's face to do like a close headshot. Uh, but just hoping the rain will slow down. We just have one more outfit and it'll match perfectly uh, along the shoreline here against the water. Okay, we'll keep on shooting.
has sent behind us, actually behind the mountain. We're shooting at a different part on Guam, I believe the east side. So the sun on the tourist side of Epal Beach usually sets where the ocean is, yes. but it's actually setting behind us and the ocean's in front. And it's very windy coming from the ocean, so most of the shots I'm having you look like towards the ocean um, versus having the ocean in the background. But even though the screen is really bad, I think we got a lot of good shots. I, I, think, I think we did yeah. too. Some of them still look good on this screen, mm -hmm. so I can't wait to see them mm -hmm. when you get them on the computer. Yeah. And I, I, trust, I trust that sensor. Yeah. As long as you have good, good available light uh, paired with this lens, uh, 1.2 lets in a lot of light. Uh, I'm sure I can work with the files and bring up the shadows and just the colors from this. And so we're going to see if, um, Sarah, if you like it straight out of camera or if I want to do some vintage edit to it. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm just happy the rain stopped, passing cloud. Uh, but overall, how, how did you like the photo shoot? I mean, I loved it. I like shooting with you guys. Yes. Yeah, it's fun. We're kind of relaxed. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't feel like, because um, it's, you know, near, we're, we're filming this near Christmas. Yes. And so you'll be the last um, model I work with uh, this, this year. year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is like a Christmas shoot, except, uh, you know, we're on Guam and it's not like super cold. No. Yeah. Just rainy. Rainy season. And you're really good to work with. Thank um, you. You know, you're welcome. You know all your poses. Um, your angles and uh, your want to give a shout out to your makeup artist? Oh yes, um, Valerie King. It's her Instagram is Nenny Makeup. And she really did an awesome job. She did. I'm sure this lens will pick it up. It's very sharp, wide open. Uh, match her first outfit, even the second outfit as well. And again, can't wait to go home and look at the yeah. files on the computer. Me too. And thank you so much for always helping me out. Really thank appreciate you it. Thank you guys for having you're welcome. me again. Okay, bye everyone. Merry Christmas. Bye, Merry Christmas. Hey everyone, Happy New Year. And we are home now, so let's take a look at some raw files taken with the Nikon ZFC using the Voigtlander 35mm 1.2 version 3. I did have uh, the first two versions. The first version I had was with the Leica M8.2. The second version I had briefly. I believe it was also with the Leica M9P or maybe it was the M240, I forget. And this version 3 actually lives on my Leica M9P, is my all-purpose uh, walk-around lens. So going here onto the computer, I'm just going to increase exposure here for this RAW file, lower down highlights. But this distance, you can still see a little bit background to subject separation, zooming in 100%. I remember this is an 18 megapixel file on a 4K monitor, so we can't really zoom in that much, but it is pretty sharp. And these are all shot wide open at 1.2. Uh, next raw photo, increasing exposure. Going down highlights a little bit. Okay, zooming in 1.2. Yeah, very sharp wide open. Background, bokeh, a little bit nervous, but it does have some character to it that I notice. This is a closer shot. Let me do a reset here. And let me lower it on highlights, increase exposure a bit, shadows. The bokeh here, a little bit of a cat eye effect. Uh, not too bad. There's some CA chromatic aberrations, uh, long sierras here, here, uh, but not too much. But again, pretty sharp right open at 1.2. Now these pictures, let me do a reset here. I was just trying to recover the sky and increase exposure a bit. But even at this distance, I think it still gives like a nice 3D effect. Pretty good. This is one of my favorite shots from the shoot. All I did here is just in increase exposure, one stop. Zooming in, 1.2, very sharp. You can see Sierra's eyelashes here. And just the transition from sharpness to blurriness to the bokeh is very smooth. Very nice. And I think this lens is good for portraits, three-fourth body, half body, even headshots. I was testing here uh, different apertures at 1.2, 1.4, f2, and 2.8. Let me just zoom in here. 
Uh, keep an eye on Sierra's eye to check if it's really sharp and in focus. So background at 1.2. I did stop it down to 1.4. And it seems like the background changed a bit from 1.2 to 1.4. At F2, things get sharper slightly. And at F2.8, it is very sharp. Super sharp. I try to do some, and this has been adjusted. I'll lower down highlights here, increase exposure. So I did do some shots against the sun. Flare coming in, seems like it's well controlled. Uh, slight haze, uh, but it kind of gives an artistic effect to the photo here. Uh, same as this, this has been edited. Uh, but yeah, the sun coming in, I don't see any significant flare. I do see a little bit here, in front of the tree here. Let me do a reset, see if it's from the lens itself. Yeah, it's from the lens. And let me see if you see in this picture, not really, but it does show in this picture a little bit of flare. Overall, not a, not a bad lens for the price. If you're looking for a good all around uh, general purpose lens uh, for your Leica M rangefinder, I think the Voidlander 35 1.2 uh, version 3 it's it's a it's good value uh, for the money. Very sharp, wide open, very little chromatic aberrations that I see. The bokeh is actually pretty good. The size isn't bad, as you saw in the video. It doesn't block that much of the uh, viewfinder. And if you're if you're on the budget, it's it's good. Um, you can find it at B and H currently for around I believe nine hundred dollars under a thousand. And in the Leica world, that's actually an affordable cheap lens versus the Superlux which can go for thousands of dollars. Uh, but very happy with this lens. I don't plan to sell it anytime soon. Again, I this is my general all-purpose lens. I even used it uh, when I went on vacation to Disneyland last summer and it did really well. Thank you everyone for watching Guam Photography. And if you haven't, please subscribe.